Hey Humvee owners, it's a beautiful overcast day here in uh, Denver, Colorado. Mountains are nice and clear, uh, but the snow is going to be on its way this weekend, so I want to get this next project done immediately. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today actually is replacing the coolant surge tank on the truck here. Uh, the OME parts from what I understand, are prone uh, for cracking, pinholes. Um, another member here of the uh, Colorado uh, Hummer Owners Group uh, replaced his twice, and even the uh, the new old stock that he received um, had a pinhole in it. So uh, considering the overall cost and um, you know the fact that you just, the last thing you want when traveling is to have a tank rupture, because uh, that will halt you in your tracks immediately. Um, I decided to go with an upgrade that uh, one of the uh, fellow members also did. I uh, went to Mod Mafia and purchased their aluminum surge tank. Uh, checked it out, looks pretty nice. I uh, just got it in this morning and uh, we're gonna install this before the snow comes. So what we're gonna be doing here is simply start off by removing the uh, surge tank and uh, verify where those cracks were. This one at the neck of the uh, main tube going to the uh, radiator. And as you can see, a little crack, as soon as I started mucking with it, all hell broke loose. So definitely needs replacement. So let's get this thing out of here and uh, take a look and see uh, what hoses we need and uh, what the configuration is gonna look like. Okay, so I thought I could be ninja about this whole thing and uh, just casually unhook the tank uh, that's in the truck, um, drain it out, and then uh, put them side by side here and uh, do a little comparison. Um, to those who are familiar with uh, the coolant systems, they're probably going to be having a good laugh at my expense. Um, but as soon as I unhooked the, uh, the lower main line, uh, just upwelling of all the fluid under pressure, uh, just got everywhere so um yeah so yeah <laughs> i had to put that back together really quickly and then um the upper lines i, I can disconnect but um either way uh the mod mafia um phenomenal uh job with this um there's your uh, visual window to see your fluid levels uh this is that main line down here i was telling you about that a lot of upwelling pressure um for the humvees the only connections that are here is uh this overflow this little vent line um, these two return lines up here and then the main line. Um, this surge tank, basically they put all the uh, fittings um, for every model, uh, H1 or Humvee. Um, so the ones with the turbos, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, have ports that are needed here and here. Uh, that's where all these plugs are for. So uh, what uh, you're doing with all this is just uh, taking the plugs, applying them where blocking up the holes that you don't need and um that's it so other than uh, that it's not really much to it but yeah they did a really beautiful job with this uh, super excited so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, get my sealer plug up the holes that uh, i don't need and then um what i'm gonna try to do as fast as possible disconnect the line drop this thing in plug it up so i don't lose too too much fluid and um then we'll uh, put everything together right after that so right back to you okay and we're back i swapped out the tanks the original tank here uh has a hairline fracture that is the area i was having an issue with uh right about here on the neck uh to the main return line to the radiators the rest of the tank uh, sludge in there uh pretty cooked it's plastic uh so yeah i would say it's definitely seen it's uh, has wear and tear and it's kind of seen it's uh, day but overall um not too too bad of shape uh, the return lines here are still solid. Um, just the only area was the uh, alien fracture at the neck. So that's the old tank, the new tank, Mod Mafia. Uh, beautiful aluminum tank. Beautiful aluminum tank. The tank itself is apparently for all H1s and Humvees. So with respect to that, the fit as it goes into a Humvee isn't as precise as the original tank when it comes to positioning. Uh, you can see uh, where my finger's pointing, there's a, a weld line there. That is for um, some kind of portal there. Uh, it's a fitting, I guess, this is probably for the H1s. There's a fitting there, then underneath, there's also another uh, weld for some type of fitting. Again, probably for the H1s some year. 
But with respect to that and this weld right here, it does inhibit this a perfect, perfect that is, you know, seating of the tank. Uh, it should be ideally about maybe, I don't know, a little more rotated this way and uh, about a quarter of an inch, you know, pushed in this way. Uh, I only say that because the um, from the air filter here, uh, this line uh, is being pressed against pretty hard. Um, other than that, it's you know, it, it works. So uh, you know, so with the fit, it's you know, it's not perfect drop in, but not enough to inhibit um, not getting it. Uh, the only other uh, if that I have uh, about this tank is for the fittings, the extra fittings um, that are there, the one, under, one underneath, is that the, they came with these little uh, like screw-in plugs. And the threads for, that, for the, the hardware they gave you and the threads that they made on the tank here are not perfect. Uh, this seems the one on the tank, uh, proper thread pitch, but the spacing is a little wider, it seems, on the tank. I only say that because the, the smaller fitting uh, underneath, uh, I got about maybe halfway before it started to bind, and it came with two of those. And uh, I tried both of them several times, and it always got bound about halfway. And just looking at it, you can kind of tell the thread pitch is not a perfect match. Um, you know, is, is that a would that prevent me from uh, using this? Um, not necessarily. I used the same um, heavy duty gasket sealer I used for my uh, uh, oil pressure sending unit. And you know, that's pretty hardcore. And I just put that around it and uh, dropped it in. And then the fitting, the larger fitting that goes right on the inside here, my finger is uh, a larger one. And uh, the plug that they uh, gave you for that um, is actually uh, a little smaller. So it's there's got a little bit of wiggle room, but you back it in there, you know, all the way, uh, and then finally you get all the way, then it kind of starts to, you know, firm up a little bit. Again, I just poured tons of that gasket sealer in there and uh, let it give it 24 hours to cure and checked it this morning and it was, you know, it's pretty solid. So am I really worried that it's, you know, it's not gonna hold under pressure? Uh, not really, um, you know, for any reason something does occur, you know, I'll address that at that uh, time down the road, but I'm pretty confident it'll be fine. Um, again, would I not recommend it because of that? You know, again, you made it work. Um, I just, my recommendation of the company was just, you know, whatever hardware you can provide, uh, make sure those uh, fittings are a precise match. Uh, that's anything. But uh, overall, I think it's, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful tank. Um, you know, fill it up a uh, nice high volume, you know, it's a good volume and uh, yeah, looks looks pretty solid. So I'm gonna go drive around today, um, push the fluid through in case any uh, you know fluid you know, got you know, pushed out. Uh, make sure it cycles. So I would say yeah, it's a pretty uh, easy project to do. Um, if you want to be nice and clean about it, I definitely recommend uh, going below the truck, draining all the coolant uh, first, and then you know pouring it back in. Uh, if you find yourself in a scenario where it's kind of just make it happen. Um, I just basically uh, had this thing staying by ready, swapped the tanks, you know, lost a little bit of coolant as it outflowed the, the lower line. And then, but I just, you know, popped, so they popped this one in and it was, uh, you know, sealed right up. So um, again, make it work. So yeah, it was a good, easy project, a beautiful, beautiful tank. Um, that's that. So there we are. Uh, one more project during this uh, quarantine down. I uh, hope you guys, everybody's doing well out there. Uh, don't forget, post your videos. Make it a great day. Okay, so what Mod Mafia sent in the box. Little swag. Kid's gonna love that. Always useful. So we have the aluminum coolant surge tank. And all the fittings, and that's what they send. So fittings, brass, um, uh, polymer or painted metal, will be painted metal, uh, Allen wrench for the, for the plugs. So what I'm gonna also add to, what I'm gonna use is a little gasket sealer. 
uh, for those threads since we're talking about high pressure and uh, a lot of heat. There's the on wrench and uh, I have some sockets in the truck and that'll do it.